We're going to get right to those deadly tornadoes that swoop through Texas, leaving so much destruction behind overnight. That is a huge twister. And then look at this as well. Baseball-sized hail from the storms. Dozens of homes damaged. We want to get right to Sam tracking wow. all the latest. Sam. Yeah, it was a tough night. And this is what it looked like as the tornado came moving through. Now, these storms were terribly violent storms. 80-mile-an-hour winds, 4-inch hail in those. Three tornadoes popped out of that storm. And the watches and warnings started about 6 p.m. Imagine how frightening it was at 8 p.m. when the deadly tornado popped out and moved through two neighborhoods. Our Steve Osinsami is right in the middle of Texas right now with that story, just about an hour west of Dallas. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Sam. You can see which way the tornado came. It pushed what's left of this home across a field and into this thicket of trees. 72 people had to be hospitalized. So many families, so many lives changed in a flash. This video shows the gigantic tornado falling from the sky, smashing through homes in Granbury, Texas overnight. There were at least three punishing North Texas starting just after dinner Wednesday night. The sky filled quickly with those dark clouds and then rained down baseball-sized hail. Hundreds were injured, more than 100 homes damaged or destroyed. Look at that, it hit something, dude. It did, it just hit a house it or just something. Hit a house. More than a dozen people reported missing. And authorities fear they'll find more dead this morning. Some were found in houses, some were found around houses. Yeah, there's a young girl, apparently she was sucked out of her house. Her leg was sort of decapitated, trying to tell her, like, you're okay, you're okay. Then another crisis. Families who survived reported smelling gas and worried that what's left of their homes would explode. We're still smelling gas. We don't know where it's coming from. You could hear the spewing, the gas line on the other side of the road. Every second mattered. Search crews went from house to house, searching for survivors trapped underneath the rubble. Our neighborhood is gone. It's, it's, it's just gone. Luckily, you know, we made it, but there's a lot of hurt, hurt people out there. It's always amazing to see what happens in just an instant, the twisted metal and the broken wood. In the areas that are hardest hit, police are keeping everyone out. Families were evacuated. Many of them today will get to see what's left.